Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply formatting using keyboard shortcuts. Let's get started. So Microsoft Word and Office in general come with a bunch of different keyboard shortcuts that you can use to format your characters. First I'm going to go over character formatting and then I'm going to go over paragraph formatting using the keyboard shortcuts on the right and the examples on the left to show you what they do. So right here I have all capital letters. So to select all capital letters or to change anything to all capital letters, the keyboard shortcut is Control plus Shift plus A. So I'll highlight the section that I'm interested in, I'll do Control on my keyboard, then Shift, and then A. They need to all be done together and you'll see that when I do that, these turn into all capital letters. Bold. Bold is Control B, so we hold down Control and we press B and that'll make it bold. Over here is case of letters which is shift plus the F3 function key. Don't misread this and think that you press F and then 3 as well. No, it's actually the function key at the top of your keyboard. So I'll select these letters over here and show you what this does. I hold down shift and then I press the F3 function key and you'll see that my case of letters as it is right now changes to capital letters and if I press it again it changes it to all lowercase letters and if I change it again, it'll change it to capital letters for the first uh, word. And if I change it again, back to capitals. So basically, it's on a rotation like that. Next up, we have decreased font size. I'll highlight this. And to do this one, you hold Control plus Shift plus this left-facing arrow, or I guess caret. And that'll decrease the font. You could press it multiple times to decrease the font multiple times. Over here decrease the font by one point. Now I want to show you that this is different from the previous one because we'll see right here that we started out with size 11 and as I did decrease it went from 11 to 10 to 9 to 8, 7, 6, 5. Over here decrease font size by one, hold down control and press the decrease font 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. They appear to do the same thing. I don't really know the difference on this one so uh, it is what it is. Alright, next up, double underline. So right here, I highlight the text that I'm interested in. That one's going to be Control plus Shift plus D. And you'll see that applies a double underline. I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see that easier. Over here, increase font size. So this one is Control plus Shift plus the caret facing the other way. One, and you'll see it goes to size 12, 14, 16, 18. So it goes up in increments of two. You can see that it's similar to the increases over here. And so right here is increase font size by one point. Hold down control, press the, I guess, left facing bracket or closing bracket would probably be easier to explain. And you'll see it goes 12, 13, 14, so only up by one. So my guess is that this decrease font size over here, the difference is if I'm at 24, I bet it will go to 22 if I decrease the font size here since it seems to go in this order here. So if I go to 22 and I use decrease font size, it should go to 20. Okay, so that's the difference. So it decreases in increments that are over here. The only difference was on this one we started on 11, so it just went down 10, 9, 8, and then it went by 1 anyway. So that's why we didn't notice a difference. Down here, you're going to see increase, or sorry, uh, italics, to apply italics. It's control I, don't misread this as an L. So control I, and that'll italicize your font. Over here, remove character formatting. That's control spacebar. Any formatting that is on any of the um, uh, characters, if you do con control spacebar, it'll remove it. So you saw that I did control I for italics up here. To remove any character formatting like the italics, it's going to be control spacebar. And you'll see that the italics are now gone. Over here, small uppercase letters. And so I'm going to show you what that is. Control shift K. And you'll see that it turns it into small uppercase. Now small uppercase is different from all caps because the first letter that was originally capitalized is still taller than the rest. So it's basically uh, has smaller uppercase letters and larger uppercase letters. Subscript. Let's see subscript. So I'm just going to highlight the word script here and that's going to be control plus the equal sign and you'll see that that will make your font subscript. And so this is really useful for chemistry and things like that where you need subscript font. All right, over here is superscript and here's how to do superscript font in Microsoft Word. I'll highlight script and the keyboard shortcut is control 
plus shift plus the plus sign. Since I've been using the plus sign over here, I decided to just uh, type out plus signs so that you knew it was a difference. And you'll see that'll make it superscript, which will make it higher than the regular text. Okay, So this might be useful, um, again, for chemistry and things like that. Over here, underline, that's going to be control U, and that'll underline your text. And then over here, this will be underline words, but not spaces. So I'm going to show you control U first. Notice that it highlights underneath the entire selection, including the spaces. If I undid that with a control Z, and then I did a control shift W, notice it will highlight the words, but not the spaces. So that's the difference there. All right, so that's our character formatting keyboard shortcuts. Now let's go into paragraph formatting. So I'm going to use this paragraph right down here as an example. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and give this a shot. So I'm actually going to decrease, I'm going to get rid of that right there. All right, so here we go. Increase paragraph indent. You'll notice that this paragraph does not have any indentation. To select a paragraph, you could either highlight it or you could triple click. Triple clicking also selects paragraph. And I'm going to increase the indent with a control M, and you'll see the indentation has been increased. You can see right up here in the ruler how that happened. Control Z to undo. You'll see it right over here and control M will increase the indentation. If I increase it again with the control M, it'll continue it. All right, so it goes by a half inch every single time. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is decrease it. And so you'll notice a lot of times in keyboard shortcuts, control shift will actually decrease. And so control shift M will decrease our uh, paragraph indent. And again, that's M as in Mary. And so the next one here is hanging indent and that's going to be a control T and you see that will create a hanging indent with the first line not indented and the next ones are. This is useful for some citations and then over here we'll see remove the hanging indent. That's going to be control shift T. Okay. Over here is to remove the paragraph formatting entirely and that's control Q and that'll remove it back to how it was initially. All right, and so that's how we remove the paragraph formatting. So those are everything. Uh, that's everything you need to know in terms of indentation keyboard shortcuts. And now let's go down here and let's look at some other formatting that we can do to paragraphs. So first, I'm going to highlight this paragraph by triple clicking. Okay, over here. Actually, I created this incorrectly. I'll delete that. There we go. All right. So right here it says one and a half line spacing. If I triple click, one, two, three. I could add one and a half line spacing. And again, that's the same as going to the home tab at paragraph group and clicking the line spacing button and going to one and a half. But the keyboard shortcut's a lot easier. So I'm going to do control five. Okay. Now it's important that for some reason on this, you're going to want to use the numbers that are listed above your keyboard letters, control five and you'll see that that will work. Sometimes the number pad on the right side doesn't work very well for these shortcuts. So I do recommend using the uh, numbers in the row above your keys. All right, so that's how we do one and a half line spacing. To do double line spacing, it's control two, and you'll see that'll create uh, double line spacing or double space. Over here, control one will be single space. There we go. So that's control plus one. Over here is to add or remove uh, one line above the paragraph. That's going to be control zero, and you'll see that it adds a line. Now all this really does is, if you go to the home tab, paragraph group, you'll see that I currently have no spacing before the paragraph. But if I do a control zero, you'll see that if I go to the home tab, paragraph group, and click the dialog box launcher, that you'll see now I have a 12 point spacing before. So that's going to be control zero. And so that adds or removes, if you press it again, the line above the paragraph. Over here is to ingre increase your paragraph indent. That's control T. That's actually up here. So I'm not going to go over that. <clears throat> All right. Next up is justify paragraph. Justify paragraph is control J. And you'll see that lines up the left side and right side of the uh, lines within your paragraph. Control L is left align, and again, that'll line up the left side, but not necessarily the right side. This is how a Word document is in default. So if you've ever written a Word essay before, this is how it usually is. Uh, justify, which again was Control J, is usually used in columns or on newsletters or things like that where you want it to be the same on the left 
and the same on the right in terms of uh, your justification. All right, next up, uh, I'm gonna do a control L to left align it. Let's say that I have a sample title right here, sample title, and I want to center that above my paragraph. Well, first I'm gonna select the paragraph, and then I'm gonna do a control E. Control E puts it right in the center of the document. So it's kind of hard to tell, but it's in the center. So I zoomed out a little bit, and there we go. And then finally, to right align a paragraph, I'll triple click the paragraph and go to Control R, and that'll right align it. So now on the right margin, it's lined up. So that's all of the different ways that you can use keyboard shortcuts to format your uh, characters as well as your paragraphs. So hopefully you found some useful tips, tricks, and uh, shortcuts that can help you move through your Word documents a little bit faster. So if this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and have a great rest of your day.